What is an appeal? An appeal is a formal statement and legal process where you state you disagree with an adverse action taken by the government. In the case of Medicaid, it means any time you get a notice saying that your benefits are denied, terminated, not approved, suspended, reduced, or if you ask for something and get no answer. You can appeal about your eligibility. Eligibility tells you if you qualify for Medicaid or not. You can also appeal about services, meaning whether you will get a specific service and how much. You file the appeal using a form for the Office of Administrative Courts, which looks like this. This form gets you a hearing before an administrative law judge, also known as an ALJ. There is a bit more to the process, but the point is that the judge at the hearing is an independent person who will hear the case and decide if the government did right when they denied your eligibility or discontinued your benefits. If they did wrong by not giving you proper notice, not processing information that you provided, or ignoring other proof provided by you, the judge will continue your benefits. Who can appeal? Any client or their legal guardian can file an appeal of any adverse action or failure to act of any government benefit. Why is it so important to appeal immediately whether I've received notice or not? Because the government has to give you 10 days written advance notice before taking anything away. If you appeal before the day your benefits are scheduled to end, you get to keep your benefits until the appeal is resolved. Usually, eligibility cases are resolved without having a hearing, which is sometimes also called a setting conference. Be sure to keep anything that comes in the mail about Medicaid, including the envelope. The postmark on the envelope can be proof that you were not given 10 days notice. If you received no notice, keep record of however you learned about your change in benefits or eligibility, which might include messages from PEAK or your doctor or pharmacy. Do I need a lawyer to appeal? No, CCDC can help you. If it gets complicated, we might ask Colorado Legal Services to help. You do have a right to have a lawyer, but if you cannot get help from Colorado Legal Services or another nonprofit like the Colorado Center for Law and Policy, you would have to pay for a lawyer. There are no court appointed lawyers for these types of cases. What if I file an appeal and then they fix the problem? Great. All you have to do then is file a motion to dismiss. You will know the problem is fixed if and only if you have a letter or written proof that your problem is solved. Never dismiss just because someone calls you and tells you the problem is solved. What if I am afraid to do this alone? Support is here for you. You can apply to CCDC for help with advocacy. However, if your deadline is tight, you should just file the appeal and then ask us to get involved. If you want us to get involved, you will need to have a non-attorney authorization form. The non-attorney authorization form looks like this. How do I appeal? You file a short form with the Office of Administrative Courts. Again, it looks like this. Make sure you fill it out completely and correctly. Every situation is different, but with adequate proof, you can appeal many difficult situations, including denial of prior authorization for a wheelchair or other equipment, reduction of your personal care hours through CDOS or IHSS, eligibility, no response when your doctor says you need something and a prior authorization was submitted, denial of a medication you need, notice saying you are no longer considered disabled, notice saying you are over income. Remember, Save all notices you get from Medicaid, including the envelopes. Contact, contact us at CCDC if you need assistance. And most importantly, appeal first, think second.